5.33 million years ago, the Mediterranean Sea was formed in a massive flood with the opening of the Strait of Gibraltar. And much more recently, around 8,000 years ago, the Black Sea was also formed in a flood with the opening of the Bosphorus Strait. Were there any similar floods between 5.33 million years and 8,000 years ago in this region? In this video, I posit that the Aegean Sea was also formed in a flood similar to the one, ones that created the Mediterranean and Black Seas. That is, the islands of Kythera, Scariana, Crete, Kassos, Carpathos, and, and Rhodes that rim the southern border of the Aegean Sea are, in my theory, the remnant of a once continuous landmass that extended all the way from Peloponnesus in the west to southwestern Turkey to the east. Today, the Aegean Sea is, is as shown in this slide. Prior to 11,600 years ago, the region would have looked as shown in this next slide if my hypothesis is correct. It's important to emphasize that I don't believe that this is actually Atlantis. I think Atlantis is on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean in the Caribbean. Plato actually discusses three civilizations in his dialogues concerning Atlantis, Atlantis itself, Athens, and Egypt. Rather, I believe that the Aegean Basin was the homeland of the distant ancestors of the ancient Greeks, who according to Plato existed contemporaneously with the Atlantean civilization. Plato offers numerous clues in support of the Aegean flood theory. First, Greece, as it was in the time of Solon, was described as being a mere remnant of its former state. In his dialogue, Critias, he writes, The consequence is that in comparison of what then was, there are remaining only the bones of the wasted body, as they may be called. In the case of small islands, all the richer and softer parts of the soil having fallen away, and the mere skeleton of the land being left. This passage has been understood to refer to mere erosion of the islands and continental lands that together make up Greece in the time of Plato, which is similar to how it appears today. Or it has been interpreted as alluding to the rise in sea level that took place over the last 10,000 years and its effect on the local geography and coastline of Greece. However, Plato in the Timaeus, his other dialogue on the subject of Atlantis, contradicts these interpretations as he states that these changes have occurred in Greece are linked to catastrophic flooding. He says, after the usual interval, the stream from heaven, like a pestilence, comes pouring down and leaves only those of you who are destitute of letters and education, and so you have to begin all over again like children and know nothing of what happened in ancient times, either among us or among yourselves. There are no records of ancient Greece having suffered catastrophes like the ones mentioned by Plato and his Timaeus over the last 3,000 years. So the mechanism of destruction that was apparently in effect in a distant past seems to no longer be in operation today. The Aegean flood theory accounts for this observation. In the distant past, before 11,600 years, 11, years ago, there were large expanses of land lying below sea level. But over several millennia and over the course of several floods, these below sea level lands, which I believe were referred to by the ancient Greeks as underworlds, were submerged. Until there were simply no more lands remaining below sea level in all of Greece to be flooded anymore. That is why the cataclysms that struck Greece in the distant past, according to Plato, have apparently ceased in the recent past. If this theory is correct, the entire Aegean seafloor would be an archaeological treasure trove, with hundreds of cities dating back to the time of the Ice Age. In my other videos, I have already hinted at the possible existence of pyramids comparable in size to those in Egypt on the Aegean seafloor at depths exceeding thousands of feet underwater. 